The next thing I need to do is work with the line code sets. So I'm going to click on that and expand and we have an example one here. The line work code set lists what designators are used to start, stop, continue, or add additional geometry to lines. So again, this has to do with lines and our example file, our example Campus Creek survey point file doesn't really have any lines, so this doesn't really apply to what we're to our survey file, but we're going to go through this anyway just to become familiar with how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new line work code set. So I'm going to right click here and click on new. And I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call this Campus Creek WCS for line work code set. And I'm going to click OK. And as soon as I do that, the edit line work code set window opens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this window a little bit bigger so we can see what all we can do in here. One thing that I do want to mention is that if the surveyor plans to use the same code sets for each survey file, you can set these code sets to match what the surveyor will use and reuse these code sets. And we can do this for our equipment databases and our figure prefixes in our line work code sets. So this could save you some time, especially if you're going to use the same surveyor over and over and he's going to be pretty consistent. I mean, you can go in here and set this only once and then just reuse this over and over. So our first area is information and we call this Campus Creek line work code sets and I forgot to put an L in here. That's okay. We have so it should be Campus Creek LWCS. Um, the next one we have coding methods. We have, and what coding methods are is you can indicate the specifics of how the survey file was created. So I'm going to go back and look at my survey file. We don't actually have any line work code sets in here, but if we did, we would have a space here and some sort of code like TC. We'd see something like that. So the space is the delimiter. So we'd be separated with the space. And then the field code escape would be a slash start in comment mode. We could specify yes or no. Since we don't really have anything like this in our actual survey point file here, we're not really needing to change anything. But in case you had to, like a surveyor use very specific codes, you can go in here and do that. So we have um, some special codes area here. Begin is B, continue is C, E is N. Close is CLS, horizontal offset is H, vertical offset is V. And let's just say the surveyor doesn't use V. He uses maybe VERT -E or something. You can change this to VRT. Like for example, down here, beginning of curve, sometimes people use PVC or PVT or something along those lines. And you can go in here and you can change it to match whatever that surveyor prefers to use. So I just wanted to show you that this is a place where you can go in and edit your line work code set. And like I mentioned before, you can recycle your line work code sets across multiple civil 3D projects. You just save this as part of your template. Since I don't really have any line work in my survey file, I only have points, I don't really need to make any changes here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Then over here on the left side, I see my Campus Creek line work code sets.